Welcome again to learn Khmer language and to the lesson we continue to learn grammar. And the grammar for today is question sentence. That Khmer language we can say la ba som nu. La ba som nu. That question sentence is a sentence used to ask about information or new that you want to know and it must end with question mark. Yes, there are eleven types of question sentence. ปราปิตาบงជាមួយនឹងល្បាសបញ្ជាក់ឧទាហរណ៍ដូចជាតើអ្នកចូលចិត្តអានសៀវភៅទី 3 ទី 6 ລະບາດສໍານວນສອບຕາອ້າຍຕຶກແຕ່ດາຫຼືເຕທີ 10 ລະບາດສໍານວນມັນສອບຕາອ້າຍ Okay, here is the first type of question sentence that we call La Bas Sam Noa Ban Jack Mien Sam Niang Sua. And the tip of this question is like the positive sentence, but we just add the question mark at the end of sentence. So let's see the form subject plus verb plus object if it have and plus question mark. And don't, don't forget the question mark. So let's see the example. Nè, cho chất an siêu phở. Nè, it means that you. Cho chất, it means that like. An, it means that read. Siêu phở, it means that book. And don't forget to stress the sound at the end of sentence. Nè, cho chất an siêu phở. The second type of question sentence we use ta plus la ba ban plus question mark so for the form ta plus subject plus verb plus object if it have plus question mark okay let's see the example ta ne cho chat an siêu phở ta it is the question word ne is you cho chat is like and is read Suppose is book. So finally, we can say, ta ne cho chat an siêu phở. The third type of question sentence we use là ba bản chế plus the word rư tê. That the word rư tê is similar to the word or not in English. So the form of this sentence is subject plus verb plus object. And we put the word rute at the end of sentence. And don't forget the question mark. So let's see the example. Nè, cho chật an siêu phở rute. Yes, you can see the word rute is at the end of sentence. Yes, thanks for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel.